All right, well, we just got down here to the spot. I'm gonna grab the blind and the decoys. We gotta cross this creek over here. And then we gotta go up the hill right to the field. So we don't got too far to go, but we'll get all the gear on here and we'll head it up. Tuesday, April 30th is the third day of the Pennsylvania spring turkey season. Got in here this morning, got set up, did a couple tree calls, didn't hear anything. So these birds aren't roosting right here where I thought they were going to be. I mean, Saturday I had two jakes that were roosted here, a couple hens, but the long longbeards haven't seen them been roosting here yet so we still got a long season yet we got a month so we'll see how it plays out
Pennsylvania 2013. Away from my jeep. No, just went over and recovered the Jake we shot. It's uh, right now it's about 8:15. Shot him around 8 o'clock. Um, just to give you a summary of the entire hunt here this morning. Got in here early, got the decoy set up. Was in here about 45 minutes before it even broke daylight. Um, first action I had was a hen over here around 6:30. She came in, she was milling around back here behind the decoys, and then she went over here to my left of my blind. Then around seven, five after seven, heard this gobbler back here to my, behind the blind, behind these pines. And um, I kept calling to him. He kept cutting me off. So I did that about four times and shut up. Well, he worked his way over here where that hen was this morning and started putting. Yeah, well, I'm all black. I blacked into the blind. I knew he couldn't see me. So it must have just been the decoys. And uh, he stayed over here about 50 yards and just strutted in the woods. Wouldn't come any closer. And he slowly worked his way down to the bigger field there. And then I just happened to pull the window down here in the back and I seen two red heads there. I was like, oh, I didn't even know they were there. So, you know, I grabbed the glass call and Start doing a little little soft calling, purrs and clucks. Well, they worked their way over here, and then it just slowly came in. I was gonna shoot them right when they came in, but I wanted to see how they would react to these Avian X decoys. I'm telling you what, these things are awesome. And he, they both of them, they both were locked in on this Jake. They didn't know what to think of them, but it was pretty cool. It's real, real good hunt. It's only my second turkey that I ever shot. The second one with the bell, but we'll uh, spurs look to be about uh, maybe three eighths of an inch. His uh, I waffled him pretty good. There, uh, tell you what, though, he does not have hardly any feathers, hardly any of them. Look at that. That's like a butterball you'd buy at the store right there. It's just all but banged up. But made a good shot on him. Went in right there above the left leg. And then this is pretty graphic, but it came out right there by the neck. He didn't go too far. Definitely didn't go too far, but. You know, I got another tag. Really didn't want to shoot a Jake, but, you know, I, it's only the third day. I didn't really want to get too picky, but. 
like I said, it's only my second turkey, so the second one with the bow. Anytime it's with the bow, that's my passion. Anytime I can shoot something with the bow, that's that's an accomplishment to me, you know. So nice PA bird. Still got another 30 days yet, so I'll try and come out again tomorrow morning. Maybe I can punch a second tag.